Today we're going to focus on writing equations of lines. So in order to write the equation of a line, you need two things. You need to know the slope, which is the m, and you need to know a point on the line, which is your x and your y. So we need to know the slope, and we need to know a point that's on the line. If you've got your y-intercept, then that's really easy because then that's your b for your y equals mx. Actually, we've got the equation right here. Let's write it right here. y equals mx plus b. This is your y-intercept, and this is your slope. <coughs> okay, so in order to write the equation of a line in slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b, you need to do these steps. Now, we need this one little half step in here where you need to find the slope. If you don't have the slope, then you need to find the slope. You'll usually be given the point, but sometimes you may not be given the slope and you have to calculate it. So you want to find the slope first, then you're going to substitute your point and your slope into y equals mx plus b, because if you don't have the y-intercept, then you have to find the y-intercept. So then you're going to plug it into y equals mx plus b, you're going to solve for b, and then you're going to rewrite the equation substituting in m and b. So here's what this looks like. Write the equation for a line with a slope of 3 containing the points 5, 2. So I have my slope of 3, and I have my point at 5, 2. So my slope of 3, that is your m. Your point at 5, 2, that's your x and your y. So we already have everything we need, so we can start here at step number 1, substitute x, y, and m into y equals mx plus b. So I take my y equals mx plus b. And I'm going to substitute it in. So y was 2, m was 3, x was 5, and we're looking for b. So this is 2 is equal to 15 plus b. If I subtract 15 from both sides to get to isolate b by itself, then I get that b is equal to negative 13. 2 minus 15 is 13. So then you do, so that's step 1. Then step two is you solve for b, and then step three is you substitute it back in, y equals m, which was 3x minus 13. So step three is you substitute in the m and the b back into the equation. So this next one, write the equation for a line with a slope of negative 1 half containing the point negative 8, 5. Again, I already have the slope. I was given the slope m, and I was given the point x and y. So we don't have to do that little half step. We can just start with step number one, substitute in x, y, and m. So I have y, which was 5, equals m, which is negative 1 half x, which is negative 8, plus b. So 5 equals negative 1 half times negative 8. So you do negative 1, negative 1 times negative 8 is 8. Divided by 2 is 4 plus b. Subtract 4 from both sides to isolate b, and you get that b is equal to 1. So if b is equal to 1, so that's my step 2, was to solve for b. Then my step 3 is to rewrite the equation with your m and your b. y equals m, which was negative 1 half x plus your b. So that's your final answer. Example 3 says to write the equation of a line through negative 4, negative 2, and negative 2, 1. So here's the problem. We need a slope and a point. But I was just given two points. But we learned yesterday that we know how to find the slope when we're given two points. So this is where we have to do that little half step. We have to find the slope first. So slope is... Remember, you can write your skeleton y2 minus y1, so 1 minus a negative 2 over negative 2 minus a negative 4. So fix those double negatives. So 1 plus 2 is 3, and negative 2 plus 4 is 2. So my slope is 3 halves. Now I have a slope, there's my slope, and I have two points. It doesn't matter which one you pick, pick either one. I'm going to pick this one. Only reason is because it only has one negative instead of two. So now we're going to start with step one. y, which is 1, equals mx plus b. We're trying to solve for b now. 
So I have one equals, let's clean it up. Three times negative two is negative six. Negative six divided by two is negative three plus B. You would add three to both sides to isolate B and you would get B is equal to four. That's your step two. Then step three was to plug it back into the equation to write the equation of the line. Y equals M X plus B. So the important thing is that you need a point and a slope to write the equation of the line, and the equation of the line should end up as y equals mx plus b.